morning. As you can tell, I'm sitting out here in my garden among all the beautiful flowers my wife planted. And I just want to give you a little bit of a snapshot of what our summer's been like. I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening in our lives. You can hear the rooster crowing. It's early, it's, uh, early in the morning. The sun's just coming up. Not too early, but uh, the rooster thinks it's early. Anyways, um, and a few exciting changes that I want to tell you about for our uh, YouTube channel, Miller Savin, our Facebook page, Miller Savin. Um, oh, let me start off with this. So we, I just got back last night from New York. As you know, I'm a part owner of Meadowlark Lug Homes. It's a family-owned business that my dad started in the 1980. So I grew up in the business. That's our main source of income. Um, so occasionally it calls for us to travel. Uh, so I just got back from New York. I was actually able to take uh, 12, my 12-year-old 12 twin sons, Justin and Ethan, along with me. So that was really exciting. Uh, we got to fly to New York. We, we built a house there in New York. We were there for 10 days. We, we built the house, put the roof on, put the windows and doors in, and flew back home. So it was, it was a good time. I'm glad to be home. Always good to be home. So that was one thing that just happened. We were gone, uh, like I said, 10 days there. And... Um, a few other happenings that happened around our place where my uh, wife and I, Priscilla, and I just celebrated our 15th uh, anniversary. And so we had a celebration. I'll show you our barn in just a few minutes. Uh, that was just a beautiful time. We, we invited friends and family, uh, family and close friends. And uh, we had about 100 and, I don't know, 110 people, I believe. And we had it uh, up here at our place. We, we had it in front of our barn. We had an outdoor 8 p.m outdoor wedding as the sun was going down. It was just really beautiful. And I'll, I'll put a video out of that later. Um, so that was awesome. Just uh, a really good time with, with family and friends, resharing our commitment to one another. That was so, that was really good, special to do that, celebrate 15 years with the one I love more than anybody in the world. Else that happened that was a sad time for our family. Uh, as you know, we have five children and um, we discovered that Priscilla was pregnant. <laughs> so we were excited. Um, this was unexpected, but we were excited. And uh, we got our brains wrapped around it. And uh, we were all in and we were excited. And then, uh, unfortunately, I guess for us, Priscilla had a miscarriage. And that was a sad time, sad time for our family. Um, we buried the little one. <clears throat> it's really emotional to talk about it. We buried the little one in a corner in our in our garden here, and we spent some time as a family, crying and. Uh, but you know God is good, and we believe that we'll see that little one again someday. So that was uh, that was a sad uh, sad turn of events for us. But we're excited about our summer. We're excited about uh, our family that we have. And um, uh, one other one other thing that happened. I'll show. I'll make another video of this. Um, uh, you'll you'll get to see this a little bit later. But I, I was able to take my nieces out. All my nieces that are around teen, early twenties, uh, before they're married, I took them out, and um, we. We spent, we took about two hours uh, a drive from here and I spent the day with them. It was just good to uh, invest in those you love and invest in the uh, relationship and invest in my nieces. So that was a fun day. I also, I'll show you a little bit, I'll make a video of a guitar that I recently got. Uh, when I was 18, I, I got a guitar, uh, a used guitar, and I learned to play. And I've had that guitar ever since I was 18. I've never had another guitar, but I've always wanted a nice guitar. So that was 20, um, see, 21 years ago, and I've been saving for a lot of years for this guitar. So I finally went and uh, I had a local guitar maker that's high-end. He makes high-end guitars for, like, Kevin Cosner, and uh, just, he makes really, really nice guitars. And so I had to make me a custom guitar. Um, but I tell you what, here's the most exciting part that I'm going to I'm gonna share with you. You know our, our YouTube channel is Miller Savin, and um, we've decided to change the name and you may wonder why um and the and there's a number of reasons but i'll tell i'll tell you what the name is um from now on our our uh, youtube channel is going to be called 
Montana Haven. That's Montana Haven. We want this place, as you can see, I'm surrounded by the flowers, by the pavilion um, in our garden here. We experience the wonder of living in the mountains, experiencing the peace and rest that people say they feel when they come here. So that's why we decided we picked the name Montana Haven. Uh, a haven as being a place of rest, a place of peace. Um, so we just welcome you uh, to this new name, Montana Haven. And um, uh, from now on, the videos will be, our channel is going to be Montana Haven as well as our, our, as our Facebook page uh, that we're still developing. And uh, we also have bought the domain MontanaHaven.com. And uh, eventually we'll have a web page as well as we have Montana Haven Labradoodles. So that's Montana Haven Labradoodles, and we're developing a website for that. That'll be rolled out hopefully later this summer, sometime early fall. Uh, that'll tell you about our, our dogs that we raise as a family and uh, what great companions and, and little critters those are. Uh, so we're excited about that. But I'll just show you around a little bit. I'll show you our barn. <clears throat> later I'll make a video of, of the barn being built. Uh, it's turning out just absolutely beautiful. Show you a little bit about our garden. Our raspberries are in full bloom right now. Um, it's it's a beautiful place. We love it out here. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of our Montana Haven family now. And uh, thank you for sharing our lives with us. We invite you to come and visit us if you ever come this way to Montana. Um, and we just uh, we thank you for watching and following us. Just a quick snapshot. Here's a, the tea that goes absolutely crazy. We have to literally pull it out of by the roots. Um, because it just takes over, but we love fresh garden tea. My uh, Priscilla makes uh, takes this tea and blends it uh, just uh, with water, blends it, and um, we put some stevie in there. And there's iced tea. It's really fresh. It tastes delicious. Just a lot of things we have in our garden. Um, our greenhouse is nothing spectacular. <laughs> we do have some tomatoes in there, um, and uh, up here we have our this some kale growing, some red beets I believe here. Here, our strawberries did really well this year. Um, some of our fruit trees did really well. Others didn't do so well. Here we have some peaches uh, growing. There were some dwarf apple trees we planted last year. There's, there's no fruit on those yet. Um, I want to get bees this coming year. I'm really excited to get bees because I think that's going to help our pollination. We have a lot of flowers, on our, on, especially on our cherry trees, but we're not getting a lot of fruit. So I'm thinking uh, bees are going to help with that. Uh, our apple trees are doing pretty well this year. It's uh, hanging, there's a lot of fruit hanging here. So we're excited about uh, picking all these apples this fall. Um, here's another peach tree that really needs to be staked. It's just loaded down with peaches. So we're excited about harvesting our peaches. And um, I'll show you the our pears over here. We're getting going to get quite a few pears, which is awesome. And um, I'll show you our, our raspberries. They're totally nuts. We have a couple of varieties, uh, and they're just getting starting to get ready. But they're the these are the yellow ones. And they're absolutely delicious. We just love to eat them. And then we have the red ones down here. They just went totally nuts on us too. Growing like crazy this morning. We're actually going to come out for the sun comes out and pick a whole bunch of raspberries. Um, we've got potatoes. Um, a lot of our watermelon we planted from seed, they didn't really come up. And they're just kind of, we've had a really cool and wet summer and it just hasn't been growing that well. Uh, we planted a corn in a couple different stages, so some's taller than the others. But I think we're still going to get quite a few watermelon here. Uh, here we have a blackberry bush there, and here we have black raspberries. Um, here's Priscilla's herb garden that just takes off like crazy. There's the mountains, by the way, not a bad view, right? Here's our little asparagus patch that we have down here. Here's some grapes that desperately need to be taken care of a little bit better. Uh, here's some roses that we have. And here's a jungle. <laughs> but uh, here's some grapes that are that we're going to get. Uh, these are a really good variety of grapes. We love these. They're like a, a light purple, pink grape. You just eat the whole thing. And some more uh, roses here. And here we're just going to get gobs of these 
Uh, these grapes, these are more of a Concord grape. There's a lot of them hanging underneath here, everywhere. So it's that's really beautiful. Love the grapes here. We have just daylilies and different things planted all along here. A lot of different varieties of fruits and and uh, different things here. We've got squash and pumpkin stuff growing. And uh, here we've got some cantaloupe. Or no, pickles, sorry. And, uh, or cucumbers. <laughs> cucumbers growing. There's a rhubarb over there. We've got some kiwi growing. Some more uh, tomatoes. Some bell peppers that are struggling a little bit here. So anyways, the gardening is a big experiment. <laughs> as the way what I say it, how I say it. It's, uh, it's great. You learn something every year. Our peas are looking pretty good here. I'm going to get quite a few peas. And I see you just stake those. But I can see that the weight of them is pulling my fence down a little bit. So we've had uh, issues with nitrogen in our garden. You can see some of this corn is yellow on this side. And it has to do with these chips. We like the chips, but uh, it does require a little bit more initially to get it off the ground. Um, I believe it takes some nitrogen out of the soil. So we've been adding fish meal and uh, et cetera to kind of get it um, a little bit, uh, growing a little bit better. So there's a little pavilion sitting in the middle of our garden. It's beautiful. Uh, it's great to come and spend time out here, especially in the mornings, and just uh, look at the mountains. And uh, it's beautiful here. So thankful to be living in Montana. It's got its challenges, but it's a beautiful place to live. Well, here it is. Here's our barn. Here's uh, the project that we've been working on since last summer. Actually, I just looked in my journal, and a year ago today, I was digging the ditches for the water line. So it's been a process in the making. The outside is almost wrapped up. Uh, but we're just excited. This is actually going to be our barn, but more than that, it's going to be a place for uh, our dogs. So it's actually a mega dog house. It's about 3,000, it's just over 3,000 square feet under a roof. It's got two floors with the big wings on it. So it's, it's beautiful. Um, I'll show you around a little bit. Uh, the inside is not done yet. Hopefully, you know, this fall, we'll keep working on it, working during the winter, maybe, whatever. Hope, we're trying to get it done before it's just be proactive and just continue working on it. On the back, I'm gonna have kennels going out, so the dogs have huge runs going out the back. And the inside, I have heated floors. Um, it's gonna be a, a, a nice pad, let's put it that way. But I'll show you around a little bit. Priscilla and I worked ourselves <laughs> pretty uh, ragged trying to get everything done in preparation for our anniversary. Uh, this is beautiful during the night. So we do this landscaping ourselves. Um, so I got the ideas for the, the grass and we put these these spots in here shine up along the snag. We actually took this snag right here and we, we cut it down here on our property and we moved it over here and then right, uh, here and put it right here in the, in the ground again. And um, I think it turned out pretty nice. Elk antler there. There's an old railroad wrench that somebody gave us. And uh, these plants are pretty small, but it looks like they're doing well. They're just starting to bloom a little bit. And here we did all this landscaping as well in front of here. Um, just some more plants. Of course, when these grow up, it's going to be a lot prettier. An old scythe someone gave us, a friend of ours. Some old whiskey barrels there. There's a front of our, our doors. Kind of the same thing here with uh, an old chain for landscaping someone gave us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we wanted to kind of give it a Swiss look to kind of show our roots a little bit. Uh, here I've got spots there in the corners where they shine up. In the evening, that light just comes on. It's a solar light. There is a my elk I got last fall. I decided to hang it up there. I thought it looked pretty good up there. Um, oh, and here, you got to see this. Here is what uh, our friend Billy Day uh, carved for us. So it's not quite done yet. We still need to stain it and the letters will probably be turned dark for, uh, for us. Then there he's got some mountains in the corners. It says, as you can read, Montana Haven. Uh, he spent a lot of time carving this. There he's got Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6 on there in that corner. And down here he's got Psalms 37, verse 3 to 6. These are uh, scripture verses that have meant a lot to us. Been a blessing to us. Uh, but there's the front of it. Um, I guess I'll show you a little bit real quick on the side. Like I said, it's not really done yet. Here are some tables I threw together real quick for our anniversary. <laughs> These were 
actually a tree uh, that I cut down above our garden a few years ago and it's been laying, so it's been kind of punky. It's kind of a little bit of rotten, but I just said, hey, let's cut into slabs. In about uh, 20 minutes, I made these tables here, just threw them together, screwed them together, and hey, they work. They're heavy, but they work. <laughs> here we had some uh, icicle lights that Priscilla hung down on the outside. And um, might be hard to see here, but that'll be a, a place for to throw hay down to the animals on the outside here. Um, there we've got a door going inside and um, metal along the bottom here. So I'll show you, I guess I'll show you the back real quick as well. So coming around the back here, you can see there's a door coming out the side, the end here. There's the doggy doors and I'll have a doggy door on this other side as well as yet. Um, but that's what this side looks like. It's uh, like, we wanted to have a, this post and beam construction feel. So these are actually post and beams, uh, post and beam construction with framed in the middle there. So the lean-tos, we're gonna hang our garlic on the sides there to dry and then we'll clean it. So that'll be uh, use, very useful for that. And then all the way behind me here, we'll have a big area for the dogs to run in. And we might even do some dog boarding or doggy daycare or something like that, we'll see. But uh, that's kind of our life right now, um, enjoying our family, enjoying this Saturday, and um, thank you again for watching. We appreciate that. Lord bless you guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.